Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, this video, I'm bringing you guys my new personal best, my new record on a Cayo Perico high speed run. And it was epic, man. It was really cool. The chat had me hype. This actually came as a surprise. I was just doing a regular Cayo. And, you know, to do a speed run, you have to have a few prerequisites. You need to have the paintings, the double paintings in the office. And I got that. And that feels like it's more rare to get than the pink diamond. So we had this set up. I had to make sure I got the keys from the particular guards over there by the office. And we did the Kasatka approach instead of the long fin because it is just a little bit quicker for a speed run. The long fin is still the meta for just general purposes for the Cayo Perico heist. But, you know, the, the Kasatka does get you set up right here directly in front and it's good to go. And I'm not going to lie, I was really nervous and I didn't expect to be nervous. You know, the Cayo Perico heist for me is nothing. You know, it's butter. But uh, the chat had me hyped. They had me put on all my merch. I was dripping in Tylerius merch, as you see right there. He had the hats, the t-shirt. I mean, I was just drip, dripping. It was awesome. <laughs> they were loving that. But for the speed run, everything counts. Everything's going to be perfect. And at the gate right here to cut it open, you have to kind of flick your joystick. Then the, your flick game has to be on point, okay? And I'm not going to lie. I was nervous right here. I kind of fumbled a little bit. No big deal. Uh, just so you guys know, just for reference, and I'll leave the video in the description down below, my previous personal record is 6 minutes and 15 seconds. And what I consider for uh, the personal record to be valid, cannot do any kind of exploits or glitches. You have to have uh, elite challenge, you have to have maxed out money in your bag, the wall safe, everything. That's the criteria I consider to make it a legit Cayo Perico high speed run, okay? So keep that in mind if you guys want to do this as well, which I recommend. But double paintings is going to be part of it right there, right? Before we go any further, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel with notifications turned all the way on. Click that bell into the notifications all the way on, okay? You can also hit the join button down below to find out how to become a member on my channel. You can also check out some merch I have down below as well. And if this video or any of my other past videos or live streams have helped you out, you can also drop a super thanks donation in the comments, and I greatly appreciate that, guys. All right, so we got through the gate. And now it's up on the actual Cayo Perico compound. And you got to be quick on this. First person is the way to go. You move a little bit quicker. Uh, people were, you know, saying, hey, Ty, shoot that guard. You might get the keys. I didn't want to do that because it slows you down just a little bit. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the keys up top over here. Since the Criminal Enterprises DLC popped, it's very difficult to not alert the guards by shooting this one right here. I used to just run up and just shoot the guy, but I've alerted the guards several times, so I had to wait till he turned around, which may be an opportunity for me in the future to save some time, right? I might be able to speed it up a little bit. I got the keys. I'm good to go. I still am able to shoot this guy right here. He doesn't, you know, if, if your missed rounds from the shotgun bounce around off the floor, it doesn't alert. So, again, you know, I love that we got this new record. But I do think I can get a better time. We'll see what, what time I have here in just a moment. So I get the wall safe first, and then I move on over to the paintings. And you see in the screen here, I'm laser focused. I really, I'm not talking. I'm just kind of, you know, just doing my thing. But I am nervous. I don't know why. It's just, you know, people say that when you get nervous like this, it means that it counts. It means that it matters to you. You want it to be, you know, something good. So that's cool, I think. Move over to the last painting in the office. And again, this is critical to a speed run. You have to have the paintings in there. It goes much quicker. And like I said, man, it feels like getting double paintings in the office is almost impossible. I haven't got double. This is the first time I got double paintings in like months. We're talking months. A lot of Cayo Perico heists, right? And you have to be careful. In first person, you move around a little clunky. So keep that in mind. And because the time difference is, is a little bit offset from the way I normally run, the Kayo heist, the guards, especially the juggernaut, are moving around in a different kind of pattern because I'm on a different time schedule, right? So we go over here to the fingerprint hacker. Listen, I'm usually golden on this fingerprint hack, but again, I just got a little rattled on the second one. I had my count off, and I think I was actually right. I don't, I don't know, but I kind of got a little flustered. I had to go back, and I wasted precious seconds right here. Oh, I think I had it right, and I just... I think I just didn't go over one more or something. I don't know what it was, so I had to go back, and it, it just pissed me off. And you know how it goes. But yeah, I think I, I missed maybe two or three seconds on this right here. You see my frustration. It's all good, though, right? It's got to keep on keeping on. I, I didn't want to reset. I almost was going to just reset the heist and just get the cleanest route that I could and the cleanest run that I could. But, you know, I didn't want to go too much. I'd already, I'd already reset it one time because the keys weren't there. So I just want to kind of make it, you know, as legit as I could. 
right? But without having the game, you know, if I messed up, that's on me, but I'm not going to let the game kind of mess me up, right? With, you know, doing dumb stuff, bugging out or glitching out. So, whatever. Got to cut through to get the tequila. Of course, tequila, right? So, you know, try try not to, you know, burn out the, uh, the, the device there, but you still want to kind of cut through this as quick as you can. And my secondary take is okay for the paintings and then the, the wall safe. Not bad. Over 500, no problem. So we get the tequila. And for some reason, that first person, look, I get hung up right there because the first person mechanics are a little little clunky, right? And it's just like, come on, man. You know what I mean? Just like, geez, what the what next? So I switch back to third person to hit this little, and I have to be careful. Look, the juggernaut is looking right towards me. I have to be careful right there. But switching to third person helps you, you know, climb over that banister right there. And then, of course, we get to the little, the gate on the outside. Got to go through the animation. Yeah. Uh, what's this big green button do? Jesus Christ. So, you know, we've seen this a million times. Kick the door, stomp on it, whatever. I'm upset. Let me out of here. And the, another reason why I chose the Kasaka is one of, the, uh, one of my uh, members in the live stream, because I did this live, they were like, Ty, the, the wetsuit, the scuba suit will also speed you up on the way out. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Even if it's not that much faster on the beginning which i think it is on the on the exit it will speed up a little bit because you have that wetsuit and you're able to use the uh the scuba flippers the fins or whatever and you can swim a little bit faster so we hit the the the, the traditional exit right here take care of that melee that guard and then we just dip on out of here right swim out see it puts the scuba suit back on you swim much faster right here Go through the, uh, the the triangle of mines out towards the whale skeleton, <laughs> right? And for some reason, I think because I was just going so fast, it didn't kind of register the exit. Usually, it cuts it right here, but I it just I kept on going, and I was kind of like, "What in the hell?" It's like, "Don't make me, don't make me swim all the way back to the island. <laughs> don't make me swim all the way back to Los Santos, right?" So we hit that. Here's the moment of truth. I honestly thought that I was like two or three seconds over my personal record before. It was 6.15, I thought I had did like 6.17, 6.18, right? I wasn't very confident. And you see right here, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, come on, man. You know, when's the next time I'm gonna get double paintings? You know? <laughs> so I'm looking, I'm reading the stats and uh, just kind of going through. And you see my, my excitement when we finally find out what I got. Bam, baby. Six minutes flat. I beat my personal record by 15 seconds. I mean, think about that. Think about beating any kind of personal record by 15 seconds. That's insane. That's awesome. And this really has kind of amped me up. I want to run, you know, more Kyos. I want to get that double painting again because I, I am confident, 100% confident, I can get into five, maybe 550, 552 in that range. But six minutes flat, come on, that's smoking, that's moving, baby. I don't care who you are, man, that's awesome. That was that was legit, that was cool. So comment down below what your fastest time on the Cayo Perico heist is. Remember, legit, full take, on hard mode, elite challenge, okay? Let me know what you guys got for your time. This is just my personal record. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.